Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the GameStop exclusive Funko Pop of Rick with Facehugger. Now this is a random Funko Pop. Funko has made several pops of characters from Rick and Morty that are from a single episode or just seen specific versions of characters, but this pop isn't even from an episode of the show. It's from a promotional video for Alien Covenant. But you know what? I like the Alien movies and I like Rick and Morty, so I like this pop. Uh, the body's pretty good. I like that the sculpt includes bent knees. Uh, the paint between like the socks, the shoes, and the pants are good. The belt line's good. Uh, decent paint on the shirt. We have a unique kind of pose with the arms. Uh, if you like moving the heads of your pops, you won't be able to do that with this because the tail's attached to the hand, so the head can't move. Uh, but this head is really, really cool. I think this is the first face hugger we've seen in pop form. We've had uh, various xenomorphs in Ripley, but here we've got a face hugger, a very cartoony face hugger, but you know what? It really, really works. Um, I really like the sculpt on it. Here, let me just get a closer look at this for you. So you just see like the, the little fingers wrapped around the face and uh, the paint line going down the the body is good. I like the bladders on the side. Um, you can see there's a little bit of a gap here. Quite a large gap. So his little eyebrow is a little bit off from where it should be. But, uh, you know, some days I can be nitpicky about stuff like that. And other days, I don't care. I'm just happy that I managed to get the pop. This is the only one they had at my local GameStop. Uh, the little bald spot in the back looks good. The usual sculpted hair looks good. Uh, I dig this, even though it's from a commercial for Alien Covenant. What can I say? It's unique. I dig it. I'm glad it's in my collection. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff.